right, as we discussed in volume one, we uh, learned that it's the la, ah, all vowel sounds stem from the la, and we have vowel modifications that, that convert as we go up for beauty and also predominantly for release vowels or relief vowels to relieve tension in the chest, the neck, and the throat. So we're going to start with the ah vowel, and we're going to go la, la. My jaw does not move. I'm not going to lie. It's open. Ah, tongue to the base of the jaw, throat wide open so that I'm not stricturing and choking off the cord or choking off my air supply in the back of my throat. The uvula starts to go up as I go up the scale. Now, for both tenors and for sopranos, this is where your ah vowel starts to convert to loft at the top, right? So here we go. And it reconverts exactly the same way on the way back down. So let's do this again. Sit up straight. I get my breath. Constantly monitor this because you will forget this, forget this, forget this. And you'll start to build tension in your chest and neck and throat. You go, I don't understand what's going on. Shake it off. Ken said, support. It's about support, diaphragmatic support. Push down on the diaphragm as you go up. And as you start to come back down the scale, then release the diaphragm, relax it totally so it's completely relaxed so you can uh, set it up for the next scale or the next vocal phrase that you're singing. If you don't, it'll get bound up, it'll get locked up, and then you start building this tension that we talked about in the chest, the neck, and the throat. So starting about the F sharp. La. The ah converts to ah like loft at the top, ever so subtly. I'm not, these are not big changes. I'm not going la, oh, ah, and I'm not doing it like a light switch. Remember, it's not like la, oh, it happens over a couple or even three notes and then reconverts immediately the same way on the way back down. La, Do you hear that? Allah. Now, ah goes to ah like loft. Ah goes to uh like hook as we go up the scale. Allah. 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 Now, before we go up here, all right, remember, if you're an R&B guy or a jazz singer, you don't need to sing this heavy. I'm a rock guy and I like that, but I do a lot of R&B and I, in fact, soul is my favorite kind of singing. Do this lighter. Do this like this. Allah, 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 Allah. time you get to the high C, we should be singing pure uh, like hook at the top, okay? This is our release valve. Now we're going to go from this all the way up to ooh, like who at the top, and then they're going to reconvert the exact same way on the way back down. We're going to reopen the sound. Once your voice settles and you, you automatically relax into these vowel, subtle vowel modifications, they will become more natural and automatic, and you won't have to think about them so much. It'll just be a natural response. So, Do you hear how I'm going? Ah, ah, uh, ooh. Listen closely. We've talked about the chest head mix, and we're going to go into this quite a bit more, but I wanted to cover, recap, and, and get us warmed up for the ah vowel modifications, all right? And we discussed that as we start to build a blend between the chest into the head, we only sing as loud as we connect. I'm going to say that one more time. We only sing as loud as we connect. 
We don't go, la, in order to be able to not hear the speed bump, because that'll lopside the voice and build um, inconsistencies in the voice and weaken the mid voice. We want the opposite. We want the velocity to stay the same, so we do it very lightly. La, okay, so I came in and out from my chest to my head, and you couldn't hear the connection. If you hear the connection, back off even lighter. Don't use a bunch of air. Don't air. Don't go. La, okay, use the least amount of air as possible. Again, as I said in volume one, if you get yourself in trouble and you're really having a tough time with this connection, you can throw in a little H just to get you past that section. So, la, did you hear me throw that? La, I threw in a little tiny H, but I want you to wean yourself off of that as soon as you can in order to be able to build that cleanly without hearing any break. In addition, we discussed, you want to pull the chest voice up as high as you can before you hand it off into the head. This is very, very important, especially if you want to build the upper mid voice. Reason is because you can build a much more powerful mid voice that way before you hand it off and, hey, yeah, you know, and build a nice, strong, powerful mid voice, right? Uh, as opposed to where uh, some other people advocate um, connecting much earlier on and connecting as soon as you can. Well, that's fine, but you won't get that same belting mid voice range. So if you're a jazz guy or an R and B guy and you don't care so much about belting wailing in the mid voice, that's fine. But remember this, if you build the chest voice, the way I'm telling you to build it, you can have the belting register and you can also connect lower or earlier and have, you know, yeah, 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 right? You can actually build and do both. So you can do a belting wailing version of that. Yeah, yeah. You can build a building, a belting wailing version of that. Or yeah, 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 yeah. And you can do both. You can either have the belting version or a nice clean R&B or soul or jazz version of that. But you can't do it the other way around. You can't uh, bring the head, head voice down that low and connect that early and expect to be able to have a belting mid voice. Okay. So with that said, we're going to continue. But again, we only sing as loud as we can connect. And then we start to add more volume and more weight into the sound as we go. And we try to stretch the chest voice up as far as we can before we hand it off. So here we go. We're going to do a different exercise this time. one more thing. As I said, to stretch the chest voice up as high as you can before you hand it off into the head, also come back into the chest voice as early as you can coming off of the head register. So try to get into chest as soon as you can, again, in order to stretch that chest voice and build this mechanism I'm talking about. I'm going a, a, u, u, and then u, u, a, a on the way back down. Let's do it slower. You hear those changes? You hear those changes? A, a, u, u, and u, u, a, a on the way back down. 